Ah, okay, final take. Um, so, yeet, figured I'd do a, did I just say yeet? Figured I'd do a drum tour, um, as my friend said, so shout out to you, Taylor, or Thor the Engine, as he goes by. Um, killer dude, amazing drummer. Anyway, um, so the drums themselves, um, it's a Mapex Voyager kit, um, 12 by 9, 13 by 10, 14 by 14, 16 by 16, 22 by 16, um, I've had the main kit, everything but the 14-inch floor tom, for like six years now. Got it when I was 14 um, as a late Christmas, and the, or late birthday present because my other kit, which was a shitty CB percussion kit, literally fell apart. It's a great kit. Mapex is, um, one day I'll upgrade, hopefully down the road. Definitely don't want to have a 14-inch floor tom anymore, but, you know, for the time being, it's I love it. It gets lots of use. Um, the snare... Came from my first ever drum set. Um, it's a 14 by 6 and a half, um, I think, steel or aluminum shell. I forget. Um, completely reworked and redone. It's my Frankensnare, if you will. Um, new throw off, a new butt plate, different hoops, cleaned out the lugs, um, repainted it, um, new tension rods, all kinds of stuff. Um, very nice. So um, we'll go around and show you the rest of the drums. Um, Here is a special drum, if you will. It's made out of the floor tom of my first ever drum set. Um, it's a 16 by 6 and a half pancake tong drum, if you will. It's amazing. Um, I love having three floor toms. i got to have some type of low-end drum on my left side, or I just feel naked without having that low-end sound. Killer. It was a fun project to do with my grandfather. And um, it's just, I highly recommend everyone have a gong drum. Especially if you play power metal or any type of metal. Or just, just get one. <laughs> This is a 10 by 5 uh, Mighty Mini, Gretsch Mighty Mini snare. Um, I was going to get to 12, but I went with to 10 because I kind of use it like a higher pitched timbale or a tie tom when I'm playing some of that stuff that needs a higher voice. Cause, and it's just nice to have a second snare again. Um, definitely was is a great. So um, we'll move on to Symbol Land. Um, start from left to right. So I got quite a few symbols. Um, this is an 18-inch XSR Fast Crash. I've had it for almost three years now. It's a really good crash. Um, I used to have it as my main crash ride, but it was too small. Um, but it's a great far-left crash. Um, especially, it's just uh, glossy. It cuts, but not harsh-sounding. And I love thin crashes, and it's definitely pretty thin. This beast, best trash crash on the market. It's a B8X Ballistic Crash. This thing is just punchy it's in your face it's not dark but uh, kind of almost dark it's very just punchy very it's just amazing and it was only 90 bucks so ever since i played one in person when i was in memphis it's just oh it's just amazing um the stack here which is sometimes not a stack um it's an eight the bottom is an 18 inch b8 um china that i modified i rehammered it drilled holes in it Made it sound not like trash. I mean, not like ass. And it sounds pretty good. It's a good cleaner sounding china compared to my other china. But right now I'm using it as a stack inside. It's just a cut down symbol that I forget it is. It's been hammered and fucked with. And it's just a good little sizzly stack thingy. It's it's fun to have. These are the most important symbol on any kit. Um, 14 inch AA regular hats. Phenomenal high hat. Super crisp cutting but not too cutting like they're not like annoying like some hi-hats are they're like they have that in between of that bright and dark sound that like older symbols typically have they're from the 90s i believe maybe older i've only cleaned them once which maybe was a mistake but they were really dirty and now they just i can use them from everything from funk to fucking like death metal very nice hi-hats um they're a little small i'd love to get 15s down the road but these are just I ain't ever getting rid of these. And I got them for 90 bucks, so talk about a steal. Um, that's right here. Awesome crash. I've had one other one before, and I cracked it because I was a dumbass. I had no idea what I was doing back then. Um, this is an 18-inch explosion fast crash. Best fucking crashes on the market. I wish they made a 20. <laughs> um, I'm planning on upgrading it to a 19 because it's just a little bigger. And putting this all the way over here, but till then, this thing serves perfectly. It's elegant, it's quick, it's 
bright but low pitched, which I really love in a crash, and it's not annoying like the other explosion crashes. It's phenomenal. Um, 10 inch XSR splash, fun, amazing splash. It's what I want a splash to sound like. I did have a 10 inch AA splash for a while, and I think I only liked it because it was the only splash I ever heard. But looking, listening back to it, not a big fan. Of this, it's got a good weight to it, and but it's not thick. It's just it's nice, and it's just a bright, quick <laughs> splash. Almost as good as like the HHX splashes. <laughs> Almost. 10 out of 10. Oh, I forgot about this little guy. This was a gift from my um, boy Alex, awesome drummer, because he no longer is allowed to play Sabian, so he gave me, he sent me this. It's a 10 inch, no, sorry, 6 inch B8X splash. It's like in between of like a chime and a splash. For some reason, it sounds amazing upside down, not so good other way around. So that's why I have it up here. Plus, it's 6 inches. I'm not going to use a stand for something so tiny. This, my main splash, if you will, especially since it's right next to my ride, I use it for all kinds of offbeat or different accents is an 11 inch Wuhan splash that I originally got the stack with this but I drilled holes in it and it just opened it up and made it sound like amazing it's just a phenomenal splash this my main stack not my main stack my little baby stack it's a 12 inch Wuhan china with um under there's a cracked cup chime that I made once in there a broken 8 inch b8 splash another cup chime and then a some cut down thingy and it's just a good quick little stacky stacker it sounds amazing this is my baby I have to have it and yeah I know my rides at a weird angle but I set up my ride for what works best for me and that angle and at that height it's just perfect a really low ride never worked for me I did it because that's what everyone else was doing and I wanted to yeah I was impressionable but I have weird arms they're long for my body but i'm still really short so having my symbols high but close really works for me um but this thing is my baby it's a um 22 inch a metal x ride discontinued sadly amazing ride everything i want super pingy has a raw bell not a big fan of late bells but the bell's been buffed so it's still bright um amazing it's got this giant iconic lathing in it which i think adds to that ting 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 noise but what's really cool about it is unlike a lot of rides heavy rides it was actually really crashable but i didn't like that <laughs> so a while ago i just put tape underneath it because like any heavy ride it's got that weird hum noise but that really quickened it up and i know I don't put tape on your symbols but sometimes you have to on a ride especially but amazing stick definition um cuts live brilliantly and this is an amazing ride. I can use it for almost anything except for lighter genres of music. And for that, for lighter stuff, which I don't have up here, I have um, a 22-inch Monarch ride, which is great for jazz and stuff. But for anything like rock, metal, for shit I play, this is perfect. My main crash ride, which is also my most recent symbol, which is this 20-inch XSR Fast Crash. I was originally going to get a 20-inch AA Raw Bell Crash, or an 18 inch AAX thin crash, but this I love more than both of them. The sound this thing has is just, it's full, it's open, but it's not like annoying and it lasts a little longer than the AX thin crash did. And yeah, it was a little cheaper, but that wasn't the point. And what I really like about it is I can use it like a light ride almost. And I have it, at my angle, symbol is pretty angled. I mean, this one's the most angled out of my all my crashes because. I find since they're so high up, you can really hit the body of it, and you're never going to hit the edge, even though I do do the sweet thing. It just makes sense to me, and it just is for a more natural feeling for me. Um, down here, this thing is a workhorse. It's my main stack, if you will. Um, it's a 16-inch Wuhan medium tin crash with a 14-inch China inside of it that I modified. This is a B8 China. This stack gets so much use, and I use it like an X hat or just as a stack, and it's just, I gotta have it. It's an amazing, one of my favorite symbols of all time that I've created, and I'm not, I don't ever plan on parting with it. Actually, I don't plan on parting with any of my symbols, but you know what I mean. Um, this baby. I've had it for three years now, and the older it gets, I've never cleaned it. The older it gets, the better it just sounds. It's a um, 20-inch Wuhan Lion China, and it's just what a china should sound like it's got balls it's trashy it's quick my one complaint i just wish it had a little bit more wash and it was a little 
dinner. But besides that, amazing china. Definitely recommend it. And it's at that weird angle because I like my china tangled like that. This beast I got for Christmas is just, everyone needs a 22 inch crash. It's a 22 inch Wuhan Lunar Smash symbol. It's just an ocean of noise. This thing, it's just so dark and explosive, but it's also not like extremely annoying or cutting. It's just an amazing symbol. We'll admit it's the very one trick pony symbol. Like it's only good for accents, but like if you really need something big and washy to ride on. Um, but I love it. Um, on top of it is the first symbol ever modified or made. It's a cup chime made out of a Planet Z 18 inch crash ride. I love it. I'm gonna upgrade it sometime, but till then, it's there as well. Um, hardware. Um, no, first heads. Um, I have got coded G2s on the toms, G1s on the bottom. Best head combination. Amazing heads. Aquarian high velocity, favorite snare head of all time. EMAD, GMAD. And an email on the thing. The interesting thing about the kick is I don't use a muffling ring. I found I get a better tone, which is using a small black pillow to control the amount of resonance. And I just get more attack. Like, I found the muffling ring really dampens a lot of that attack from the head, which I don't like. So I get a best of both world sound out of that kick. And mwah. Um, EMAD, Onyx, stock head, no bottom head on that. Um, rack. I have a rack. If you have a big kit, get a rack. Save yourself the hassle. Um, mixture, uh, it's a Gibraltar Road Series. Um, all Gibraltar Road Series clamps. Um, I have a mixture of Mapex uh, Falcon and Armory hardware with uh, Gibraltar stuff mixed in. Uh, paddles are access, I mean, axes, um, X longboards. Best pedals, so much better than my iron, I mean, speed grubbers that I had. Those things sucked. Especially the left pedal, it just got stiff as a brick. But these are amazing. Um, highly recommend best direct drive pedals ever. Now this beast I recently got, and it made better on my knee, better on everything. It's, I highly recommend it. I find other Hyatt stands are obsolete. Remote Hyatt stands are just amazing. Um, was a bit of a trick to get it mounted, but I, I got it mounted pretty neatly, I think. Um, uh, it's a, a Pearl Redline Eliminator Remote Hi-Hat Stand. Super smooth. I don't use the drop clutch because when I do open hi hats, I like a little bit of openness so I get a little bit of wash. But it's a great hi hat and I can get it right next to my pedal so I can do those back and forth ostinato stuff or anything like that. And no more weird bad knee angle. LP little black cowbell. My mom got it for me when I was like 16 because she said, you need a cowbell. And I'm like, okay. Uh, I use Vader Power 5B sticks, wood tip, hickory, best sticks ever. Uh, yeah, that's everything. So, enjoy.